părțile funcționează cum funcționează și din uh -huh. Și s-a spus aici că prin această tehnică se dezvoltă întreaga capacitate a creierului. Are asta un efect asupra comportamentului nostru? Ăsta este subiectul lui Jim Baniola, care este unul din cei mai cunoscuți specialiști din lume în ce se cheamă training, adică pregătire pentru a fi conducător, pregătire pentru a fi manager și uh, e un privilegiu să-l avem printre noi. El a lansat el o carte în română care a fost tradusă în vreo 20 ceva de limbi, acum este și în românește și se cheamă de profesie om. Accentul este pe profesie, de profesie om. De profesie om. Când invit pe Jim Baniola, care în curând trebuie să plece la Cluj, așa că știu că se grăbește și uh, va fi scurtă regerea sa, despre dezvoltarea capacității de lider. Lider aici, pentru ca fiziologia să funcționeze mai bine. Did you enjoy first class? 
And he said, yes, yes. And he had his head off and his hat in his hand. And he opened his hat and it was filled with those little alcohol bottles. <laughs> he said, I had a very good time. See? I tell you this story because even though we're actively at war in the United States, we do not appreciate our soldiers, our military, enough. They're undervalued, underappreciated, and underpaid. Does that happen in Romania? No, no. No? <laughs> yes, yes. Of course. <laughs> More of the same. Uh, <laughs> everywhere. Undervalued, underappreciated, underpaid. So, <laughs> it's even worse. That's another conference. I'm with the teachers, I'm with the doctors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nobody ever gets paid enough anyway. Uh, do you? Well, maybe yes. Wow. Wow, okay. Can I borrow some money? <laughs> so, really, we have to think about the appreciation of our military not just before they go anywhere, but now. The Transcendental Meditation technique is a resilience builder. We need all the military resilient. That means they can bounce back easily from high stress. We need it. We're at war at work. We're at war in life right now. We need to bounce back. So. Transcendental Meditation is a resilience builder, it's a game changer, and it's a brain changer. The problem with PSTD is that it changes the brain. Our great professor here was talking about lesions on the cortex, which cause improper behavior. So I was with a general, I have security clearance, I work with CIA, Secret Service, Army Intelligence, Air Force, and I just left the Navy War College in Washington before I came here. What do I recommend to them? Transcendental Meditation. Change the hardware, get rid of the lesions, heal the brain. In a private meeting, after a general from the Marines got to know me, he said, I have to tell you something. What? I feel helpless. Why do you feel helpless? Because we have a suicide every day in the military from people coming back. A suicide every day. So one thing you might not hear about post-traumatic stress disorder is suicide. This is happening just in American football where they bang their heads and now people are committing suicide because improper use of brain. I'm going to let some soldiers talk to you and some experts with a few short clips. They're much more expert than I am. So I want to first show you a clip from a news uh, piece of a military uh, veteran who lived in Iowa, where the university, Marish University of Management is, and they use Transcendental Meditation as the main tool for, of education for students, faculty. So let me play this, and then we'll go on to the second short clip. I didn't understand why I was having 
problems and emotions I've never experienced before. Jensen served in Afghanistan in 2009. He says he fell apart after a few months of service and sent home. At the beginning of the deployment, I was the guy that was keeping everybody cheered up and joking around, and I thought I was kind of the, the tough guy that people could lean on, and then I really just started to deteriorate and uh, lost control. Jensen says he wasn't himself when he came home to his wife and two girls. Last July, the Des Moines Register shared his story. It's a devastating story. A war with PTSD. Next battle for families. World War II fighter pilot Jerry Yellen saw the article and recognized his stress. What I thought was, here's a guy who needs me, who needs what I know. He called Jensen the next day, inviting him to Fairfield to learn an ancient practice called Transcendental Meditation. A lot of people think that TM is a religion, you have to follow the guidelines, of, but it isn't. It's a technique, it's a mental technique. Jensen says the technique is simple. He finds a comfortable chair in a quiet place and closes his eyes. For 20 minutes, two times a day, he repeats his personal mantra. It's just a, a word that takes you in a deep state of rest. And while you're doing that, you're getting rid of stress and just giving yourself peace and relaxation. Jensen says his wife also learned TM. He says it's given him his life back. And it helped me relax right away. It helped me start getting better sleep. It helped me with my anxiety to the point where I got off my anxiety medicine, medicine completely. Something he hopes will help other soldiers dealing with the wounds of war we don't always see. In Des Moines, Megan Ruther, Channel 13 News. Thanks, Megan. Jensen will share his story tomorrow afternoon in Fairfield. All Iowa veterans are invited to attend with their families. Veterans will learn more about a program called Operation Warrior Wellness. It offers scholarships for veterans to learn Transcendental Meditation. The seminar is tomorrow at 2 o'clock at the Fairfield Community Center. You can find more information on our website, whotv.com. Once you're there, click the Scene on 13 tab located at the top of the page. So courageous for him to come forward. It's not Sharing an easy story. About. Yeah, it's hard. Yeah, whatever works for those folks going through that situation, it, it's great. Yes, yeah, great news. So a couple of things. One is that people are ashamed in the military to tell people that there's something wrong. And look, a third come back with these symptoms. Secondly, we're proud that the Transcendental Meditation uh, Program organization is paying attention to this lack of appreciation of the military and is offering scholarships uh, to help people who are coming back from wars, men and women, to practice uh, meditation. So we're proud of that. The other thing is you heard the soldier say, or the uh, veteran who uh, actually teaches meditation as well, he said, people are afraid because they think it's a religion. It's not a religion. It's not a philosophy. It's a mental practice which affects the physiology. <coughs> and that's something to be understood. The second piece which I was instructed uh, by Nicholas to do is show you some research. And I will let Dr. Serena Groswald show you the research. She's an expert in this area. And with just a few uh, pieces of scientific research lasting about four minutes. <coughs> about uh, the experiences of those who have served. But what exactly is post-traumatic stress disorder? I mean, PTSD occurs when a traumatic event is so severe that it causes lasting changes in the brain. Often, the victim doesn't even realize that that experience was so severe to cause that kind of change for months or even years, as you've heard from, from the experiences here. The symptoms of PTSD include uh, re-experiencing, just as was mentioned, the, the sounds and the smells that bring that experience back, emotional numbing, the inability really to enjoy life, uh, difficulty sleeping, insomnia, uh, uh, often self-medicating with alcohol or drugs. The transcendental meditation 
technique has been studied extensively, and research has shown that it can be very effective in the treatment of post-traumatic stress disorder. Research that was done on Vietnam veterans in the 80s who had returned suffering from combat stress at that time uh, was called Vietnam Stress Syndrome. Research showed that TM was an effective approach for reducing emotional numbness, for reducing anxiety, for reducing the symptoms of post-traumatic stress disorder. Also reduced anxiety, uh, reduced substance use as a way of self-medicating, and reduced depression. In fact, 70% of those that were in that study, after three months, said that they no longer needed the services of the veteran center where they were uh, attending. We did research recently with uh, my colleague, Dr. Norman Rosenthal, who will be speaking a little bit later, with veterans from these current wars. And what we found, again, within three months, very dramatic reductions in the symptoms of PTSD. And also, dramatic improvements in quality of life. That these men and women are able to actually return to active life. Remember who they really are. In a very short period of time, we were very surprised within four weeks, dramatic reductions in PTSD symptoms, and then they continued on at measurements at eight weeks and 12 weeks. This was research that was done, uh, NIH-funded research, that shows, uh, the ARMS research shows that those who suffer from PTSD, returning veterans, have a much higher risk of cardiovascular disease, heart attack, stroke, um, immune system disorders, this study you'll see that was funded by NIH, looking at over five years comparison of those who received health education to those who were in the TM program, looking at mortality from heart attack and stroke. And what they found was again within three months, 30% uh, lower risk of heart attack, stroke, or mortality. And among the high stress group, a very dramatic 70% reduction. So as I mentioned, the long-term health of those that suffer from PTSD is uh, very much compromised. This is research that was done that shows that over 60 disease categories, and it's all aspects of health, that significant reductions in all areas of healthcare utilization, stays in the hospital, visits to the doctor, and in the area of cardiovascular disease, a very dramatic 87% reduction in stress. So we can see very clearly that there's a strong scientific foundation for the use of the Transcendental Meditation Program for treating the symptoms of combat stress and post-traumatic stress disorder. And this is a resource and a tool that can be very beneficial in the various approaches to treating PTSD. So thanks very much. Thank you. 
everybody pisses you off. It's different for everybody. Memories saturate your mind for me. And just every day is a constant reminder. We live the same path over and over. I myself have been deployed eight times. I've been to combat four times. I was diagnosed with PTSD, depression, insomnia. We fight through whatever problems we have. We suck it up. And I did that for, for many, many years. The, the trauma that I've seen, the, the situations that I've been through, you take all of that stuff, you put it in, in a bag, and we keep filling up our bag with all these problems rather than dealing with them. The peak my interest in transcendental meditation was all the research that's been done and how incredibly effective it is for trauma and stress. The evidence now is that in combat stress, the trauma actually changes the way so that this ability to self-regulate isn't there. Meditation helps with information processing, helps with self-regulation. Now here we have another tool that is fabulous and they can do it for themselves. I was interested uh, in the TM program, but I was skeptical at the same time. The TM meditation, it really, it really came out fast, and it was surprising to me. Having that inner peace after meditation really, really emboldened me to, to deal with things that I had been just kind of stuffing away. So to be able to uh, have relief from agitation, have relief from anger, frustration, sleeplessness, alcoholism, drug addiction. That's huge. After performing the TM, I am able to make better judgments. I do find myself opening up more and find more, more of a balance in a lot of the things I do with my relationships. There was a more profound uh, relaxation state while I was doing the TM. I found myself not being on in such a high alert, not so agitated with things around me. It has helped me uh, to find more peace and happiness. My family, my friends, and some co-workers have noticed a, a huge change in, in my personality and basically that, that I am happier and more at ease, more of a well-being. Meditation, and specifically translating meditation, I think has a role with when it serves men and women. Because whatever stuff is happening in your life on, this, on the surface area of your life, you get under all that noise and all the storms and all the clouds. And, and you find that, that peaceful place that is, that is the you within the you. And that's the thing you tap into. Resilience, that's a word that the military is really interested in now. And that's some of the research I think that's being done is could we prevent some of this from happening by giving them this resilient tool before they deploy, before they get into these traumatic situations. They don't teach you how to deal with trauma. They don't teach you how to deal with watching people die. And I think that meditation would help quiet the mind, help you be more effective in, in combat and life and train from the inside out. Thank you for listening to me for a few minutes.